In this video, we'll be discussing the three polymers that make up the cytoskeleton, specifically the microtubules, intermediate filaments, and microfilaments, which are also known as actin. After watching this video, you should be able to name each of these polymers as well as describe their basic structure and function. So here you can see images showing each of the three cytoskeletal polymers. First, we have the microtubules, which are the widest in diameter. You've already been introduced to the microtubules in the mitosis chapter because the microtubules make up the spindle, which separates the chromosomes. In addition, the microtubules are also involved in maintenance of cell shape. The next widest cytoskeletal polymer is the intermediate filaments. So the intermediate filaments are primarily involved in resistance to mechanical stress and they provide a lot of strength. The narrowest cytoskeletal polymer are the microfilaments or actin and this polymer is primarily involved in cellular movement. So these parts of the cytoskeleton can actually be compared to a tent and the parts that um, help hold that tent up. So first we can see these tent poles. These are very similar to the microtubules so because they're very strong and they're very rigid and they provide much of the support and shape for the tent. Next we have these thick cables. So intermediate filaments can be compared to steel cables because they're a little more flexible than microtubules. However, they're very, very strong. And finally, we have the ropes, which are actually the least strong polymer and they're capable of movement. So these are the most um, flexible of the cytoskeletal polymers. So as a reminder, the microtubules are the widest of the polymers with a diameter of about 25 nanometers. And the microtubules are actually hollow cylinders um, that are made up of combinations of tubulin dimers, tubulin being the protein that microtubules are made out of. They're primarily involved in maintaining cell shape. They are involved in cell motility um, in the context of cells that move via cilia or flagella. They're involved in forming the spindle and moving the chromosomes and also involved in movement of organelles. Next we have the intermediate filaments. These are about 8 to 12 nanometers wide and these are involved primarily in maintenance of cell shape in the context of tension. So they resist mechanical stress because they provide strength. In addition, they anchor the nucleus and some other organelles and form the nuclear lamina that surrounds the nucleus and gives it structure. And finally, we have the microfilaments, which are also known as actin. This is the narrowest of the cytoskeletal polymers. It's only about 7 nanometers wide. And it's involved also in cell shape, um, but primarily involved in changes of cell shape. So for example, it forms the pseudopod that allows um, some cells or amoeba to move. So if you remember, a pseudopod is a false foot that a cell extends for movement. It's also involved in cytoplasmic streaming in plants, as well as muscle contraction. We'll spend a lot of time talking about that role. And it helps to form the cleavage furrow in mammalian cells. So that's the end of this video.